welcome back users in the last video we have seen the installation of arch linux using the arch install helper library which provides a tui that is the terminal user interface to help the user easily install the arch linux so in today's uh, so now in today's video we will do a detailed review of the mate desktop we had installed uh, in the last video so we had installed uh, we had given the option of mate desktop when the arch install uh, tui asked us which uh, desktop you want to install on the top of your arch linux system so we had opted uh, for the mate desktop from a host of at least uh, around 8 or 9 desktop uh, options were there so we had in, uh, included mate because we have never uh, done mate desktop on our video uh, on our video channel that's why we thought let us do install the mate desktop and then we will do a uh, review of mate desktop i have also not used mate desktop uh, very well i had installed it for a short time two years back but i did not like at that time so let us revisit mate desktop and also check out the uh, Arch Linux base. So we will start the Arch Linux virtual machine for the first time after the install. So just we will click. Arch Linux is very quick and snappy and very feels very light on virtual machine also. You saw how fast it was uh, reacting to my uh, mouse clicks so this is the logger so let us check out uh, what they have in the accessibility features so only two options large text and high contrast are there there is no onboard uh, on screen keyboard is not there, not there yes so there is only uh, there is no wayland only xorg uh, or the x11 server is there display server is there time is there and the option to suspend restart or shutdown is there so let us go ahead and log in so the desktop login is also very fast so now desktop uh, has computer sam's home and this is the ISO that we had installed. It is logically uh, still attached to my virtual machine. For that, we have to go uh, log off and then go in the uh, virtual machine preferences to take it out. It is just like a logical USB drive uh, attached to my virtual machine. So we forget about this. This is the trash can. There is a screenshot there. I think we have taken one screenshot. Yes, the screenshot was for this. Okay. So, on a fresh install, uh, a Mate desktop on Arch Linux uses just 542.8 MBs of RAM. And CPU on average for the four, uh, four uh, cores is uh, 2%. So, that's great. It is very light you can see it is very light and responsive normally systems are not this responsive but it is very responsive okay now what is this okay so this is the to maximize or minimize the windows yes Here you get a calendar, uh, you get a location say I at uh, Mumbai to this. Show seconds, you can add the seconds here. Show weather also is available. It is not coming up. Yes, now it is. Okay, now it has started. So it must have synced with the servers. Yes, now it is coming. 
let us check out the weather okay okay now the weather has come come up we have to just uh, close this window okay so broken clouds temperature is 32 degrees in mumbai feels like 41.3 degrees so it is very mild weather in uh, mumbai 32 degrees in summers is nothing so the weather app works perfectly yes the sunset is late uh, sunset is late after uh, 7 pm in the evening and sunrise is around 6 perfect so the weather app is working perfectly now let's oh these are the workspaces you can click say so i will open one okay, now okay so workspace is, is also working uh, working perfectly there are four workplaces by default now let us check out the applications in accessories we have got ngrampa uh, archive manager mate calculator mate front uh, viewer mate search tool luma is the text editor this is text screenshot is the app to take screenshots we have got the vim uh, editor in graphics we have got eye of mate image viewer mate color selection let us check out okay so this is the color selection app for in, in internet we have got firefox and the Hawaii shs server browser and vnc server browser is there in office you have got mate dictionary and atril uh, document viewer there is no LibreOffice present this is the uh, most plain vanilla mate desktop so there are no extra uh, softwares included only the softwares coming up with mate that is the default mate applications are only present no third party applications are there except the firefox now let us go and check out the sound and video so you got qt vl l2 test utility and qt vl l2 video capture utility and the uh, let us check out the sound utility okay so this is the utility to change the output volume add sound effects settings for the built-in sound audio the microphone output you, you can change from here this is the audio output the applications which will use the audio server on your laptop and the io audio io on your laptop and those applications the list will come here so you can see it is very plain nothing extra is there just the only default apps made by mate for their mate desktop those are only included so this is possible only in arch and some other linux distros where they prefer to give you the vanilla base on that you can add your toppings like uh, you can add your chocolate uh, topping or pineapple topping or any 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 flavor flavor you want that is like this so <coughs> even fedora also it comes uh, uh, all the desktops are vanilla only they don't add anything extra you have to build your own uh, gnome desktop on the top of the vanilla de desktop they provide so this is their uh, concept this is the places uh, so in the places there is home folder desktop computer the usb that is attached the iso that is attached with the virtual machine the networking let us check out the network okay so uh, we can I, I think we can see the local network uh, devices attached here so i will have to try this uh, uh, desktop on my laptop my bare metal so i will get a better idea i think it looks promising it is very light on resources snappy and it does not distract you so that is good it is very say very neutral uh, view 
there is no eye catchy colors or uh, not too many details not too many uh, say if you right click only few options are there not too many options like in kde desktop which can distract you or you can puzzle you okay now this is the mate search tool so you can search any keyword here look in the folder so you can uh, specify which folder you want to check the keyword in you can select the whole file system so uh, the keywords are actually done for all the uh, in the all the files in your file system system as well as user files so this is cool so you, you can see all the um, uh, major features of a desktop are there but they are very plain so there is no eye catchy colors no uh, eye catchy sounds no eye catchy wallpapers nothing simple it is all sim simplicity at its best you can say the recent documents is also there now check out the system so here the this is the system menu so you can go so first option for the hardware the displays are there so let us check out yes the scaling auto detect is there and you can scale from 100 and 200 the intermediate 150 and other things i think are not available refresh rate is 75 hertz by uh, default resolution is uh, hd rotation you can do panel icon show monitors in panel uh, what happens okay this uh, monitor preferences will be shown in panel so we don't need that okay applies the current configuration for other mate users on the computer so this is good uh, so the super user can uh, apply the display settings system wide for others user also so this is satisfactory then we go to the keyboard section yes so the uh, typical keyboard uh, settings are there The pointer settings, the pointer uh, feel and accuracy, acceleration, delay, everything is there. Typing break is there. So this is good app uh, for the power users. So if you are working for a long time on the uh, keyboard, this uh, typing break will give you a break after uh, the preset minutes, say like 60 minutes, if you type continuously. Then after 60 minutes is there, it will lock the screen to lock you out of the uh, desktop so that you can take some rest or take a break. And uh, after the break interval is done, after 3 minutes, it will again uh, screen, un screen will unlock and it will allow you to work, uh, carry on your work again. So this is very cool feature. I like this and it should be useful for you too then uh, let us go ahead the keyboard shortcuts are there yes there are a oh, long list of keyboard short shortcuts are there then i think uh, you can add even more keyboard uh, shortcuts of your liking now let us go ahead preferences hardware then these are the mouse settings so the mouse orientation general position of mounter emulation of middle button enable mid, middle mouse paste the pointer speed drag and drop thresholds double click timeout okay okay it is working so the double click you can check from here so all the settings that uh, we ex 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 uh, expect from the system for the mouse settings are there for the keyboard displays so now let us check out the power management yes so the actions for the uh, power management AC and general general I think is the uh, when okay this is the general settings applicable both for battery and AC power okay ask me when the power button okay never display an icon display 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 display
then i can okay so it is done a uh, power management preferences is done in a little different way but uh, all the expected uh, features of the power management are there suppose uh, if we remove the ac power what will happen so there was only sound okay so for the battery power the power management uh, preferences are not there this is only for the ac power and the general power management preferences but for the battery power it is missing so this is uh, this is to be noted that the battery uh, power management preferences for uh, for the uh, for the laptop when it is on battery power it is not there keep this in mind so we go ahead time and date manager is there so for that you need to lo log in your uh, password okay so the ntp sync is given here given here you can sync or unsync no you cannot unsync even the time zone is grayed out so the user cannot do it i think i have to log in as a root then only it will allow me to change the preferences ah, okay the unlock is there okay let me check this is good feature ah yes now i can do so user can do it but he has to log in again to unlock the <coughs> settings okay okay that is good and then you can after changing the settings you can save the settings from the middle button let me go ahead okay now internet network so you can configure your uh, internet proxy from here and you can ignore some of the host then let us go ahead you can have your personal file sharing from here share public files on network you can do it you have to log in with your password and uh, Okay, let me check okay require password okay so this is there are options never when using files and always so you can share your files on the network using this personal file sharing preferences okay now let us go ahead now these are the personal settings so this is the about me section you can change the your uh, user password from here these are the accessibility features of the assistive technologies so they can be used uh, for the web browser for the email reader instant messenger multimedia also in multimedia i am image weaver multi, uh, multimedia player and video player are included so you, you need to add those apps here so whatever app you install if you want to use the assistive features you have to add the app here and then the assistive features will be available in that app while you are using that so for the system text editor the terminal file manager calculator in the office the assistive features will be available for the document viewer word processor spreadsheet for the accessibility uh, that is for the general uh, desktop use for the visual that is the display desktop display and the mobility so this is good then the keyboard accessibility and mouse accessibility features are also included so here you can uh, set the uh, keyboard preferences and uh, mouse preferences accessibility so this is good i will not go too much in detail you can check it out and uh, start using it yourself now this is the okay personal okay we were here for the file management let us check out so here are the file management views behavior display previews media extensions so here the extensions are there for the file management open term user share image converter send to and grandpa wallpaper share atrial properties so all this is there in the media you can choose what happens when the uh, cd is loaded dvd is loaded 
when the cd audio file is clicked dvd audio file is clicked so you have to in short give the default application configure the default application for each of this uh, media type the previews are there so the text file previews so uh, sound file previews folder previews and other previewable files so how to do it what to do you have to do it here all the settings here the list of the columns so these are the list of the uh, columns that are available in the menu or in the uh, whenever you click on a file the all this is given in the file menu this is the display icon captions so if you uh, just hover your mouse on the icon caption the or icon it will show you the icon caption size size on this type date modified owner of the icon group permissions all the other things like location extension tag etc so this is uh, this uh, desktop looks simple but uh, all the features expected from our typical desktop uh, in the our con contemporary times is there so and yet it only uses 580 mb of ram so that is to be noted i think uh, we have done with the personal uh, okay startup applications and click okay so here you can add uh, the startup applications for, so applications added here will start when you start your desktop so now let us go to look and feel so here you can do uh, the appearance settings let, let us check out okay so here some themes are available so the custom is this green and white look green white gray, gray look is there then the black matte blue menta blue submarine so host of themes are available you can check them out you can install uh, extra things from the uh, google also you can google and uh, then download the files and install the files from here theme files then the background let us check out the backgrounds so overall over, i think i am now impressed with this uh, desktop it looks very simple but uh, it has got all the features that user expects from the desktop okay so this is the mate let us add okay it's good So this is also looks very good so we'll keep the original one then let us go to and check the fonts okay the fonts are here you can add a new font from uh, by clicking this button the menu bars toolbars what to show what not to show so show icons on menu shows me icons on buttons so <coughs> all typical uh, settings expected in a desktop are there again i am telling you again and again i am fairly impressed with this desktop now let us go ahead so i think uh, in the look and feel what is the main menu okay so you can add or remove items uh, from the file ma file manager menu from here you all know how to do this uh, i will not go in detail let us go ahead uh, yes so here you can uh, configure the notification settings only the theme position uh, of the notification settings can be done use the active manager you can have a set uh, notifications on other monitor another inactive monitor uh, or by default it is uh, the notifications are shown on the active monitor only and enable do not disturb then there will be no alert sound when the notification is displayed so it's very easy nothing new but uh, you see in 580 mb uh, ram size it is show uh, it is it has got all the features so one cannot say that uh, it is using less ram that means it has got less features then it is not like that it looks simple but it is uh, fe feature uh, i cannot say it is feature rich but uh, it is not feature deficient also the most of the features that we expect from the desktop is there 
then we go and check out the screen saver uh, preferences so you can have a sc screen saver oh it's okay, the floating gnome is there floating mate is there so it's great i can uh, i can use this uh, desktop for my day to day work i won't have any problem so it's cool some other settings are also there background picture for lock screen you can import the pictures i think lock screen when uh, screen saver is active active activate screen saver when computer is idle so you can do that i will shut this off now let us check out other things okay yes yeah, so this is the now we are going to the tiling part so compositing manager enable software compositing window manager okay now how uh, this is now the window styling center new windows enable window styling allow top tiling position of title bar uh, main uh, buttons right with menu behavior select windows and the mouse hovers over them title bar action uh, i'll tap what will I, i'll tap do show thumbnail set in uh, l tab yes show window border in l tab yes movement of key to move a window press and hold this key then grab the window yes so we will use the alt uh, key by default to move a window and you also option is use the super key or the window logo key so the tiling is also there feature now let us go i think we have checked everything now yes now we go to the control center so this is the control center here the display you can configure the hardware like display keyboard yes power management time management time and date man uh, manager the net in the internet uh, network proxy file sharing personal file sharing you can fill section is there the personal section is there so uh, this menu whole preferences menu is there in the control center so i will not go ahead again into this same thing i will shut it down so now let us check out so about mate this is the latest uh, mate desktop available that is 1.26 version <coughs> so since this is arch the latest versions of all the softwares are available let us check out okay you can lock screen you can log out you can shut down here let us check out the help uh, section so i will recommend all users who want to use a mate desktop after being inspired by watching this video should read the desktop guide immediately on the install uh, install of mate desktop is complete and you boot into the system you try to read this because uh, this will help you to make the best of the mate desktop you can fully leverage the capabilities of mate desktop after you read the desktop uh, user guide completely so i think after you install the mate desktop uh, if you read say five or 10 pages every day i think in one week you will be able to discover all the features of mate desktop and leverage them to uh, increase your productivity so i will close this down so i think everything is given yes it is all properly given this is a good manual but there are no screenshots like in manjaro or other systems or mx linux so here no i think uh, yes the screenshots are there but small but still this is a good uh, user guide you should follow this this is the official user guide i will close this down what i observed is uh, here in the even uh, all the interface and the user manual it is clean there are no body colors no you see no net there is no, no gimmicks are there it is not non gimmick it is just plain and it's very smooth and uh, it is very eye friendly whole gui gui is very eye friendly so big thumbs up to the mate developers and the mate project team to have developed such a nice desktop so friends uh, we will stop our uh, stop our video here so
uh, after I had used this Smart Desktop uh, two years back, but uh, I did not like it that time. But now I think my tests have become more refined, and I find Smart Desktop to be very much attractive. I must use it uh, soon. So maybe I'll, in next few months I will try to use it as a daily driver, and I will do a long term review also with you. So at this moment we will stop our video here. Thank you very much. Do subscribe to our channel. Do like, comment, and comment. Do not uh, forget to press the bell icon so you will not miss any of our videos. We regularly push videos to YouTube. At least one or two videos are there every day. Thank you. Bye bye. See you.